why is testosterone not covered by insurance and why is it so expensive? So why it's not covered by insurance, I can't tell you because it's very frustrating. I will tell you that many insurance companies uh, do rely uh, or sort of fall back on the Endocrine Society's guidelines that in order to be considered low, you have to have a total testosterone of less than 300 before 10 o'clock and that has to be done twice. So we do try to make sure that we get those for our patients if they fall in that range. Um, in terms of the cost, there are definitely very expensive treatments and there are very cheap treatments. Let's assume you have no insurance or very poor insurance, then the cheapest way to do the testosterone in terms of the actual medicine itself are the injections, usually on a weekly basis, of the testosterone cypionate. Um, let's say that your insurance does not cover it, but you have a doctor who's writing it for you. A bottle uh, of 10 cc's with 200 milligrams per cc, which is a total of 2,000 milligrams, um, is usually about $45 when you have a prescription for it, not on the black market. Um, you can always, if you don't have good insurance and you're paying for it yourself, you can always look for coupons. The ones that we have our patients go to is called GoodRx, G-O-O-D-R-X.com. You can print out a coupon um, and then for some reason the pharmacies will charge you much less. But it's really not a bank breaker if you're using testosterone cypionate, even if you have to pay for it if you use a coupon.